probably get that. Hey, I'm we in Forbidden Woods. Yup. Shh, it's a secret. You're gonna hate this area, probably. No, I've already beat it. The point of this area is it's already dead. You get a lot. Of, you'll get a lot more upgrade stones, so you can uh, upgrade your weapon there. I'm happy. What is your weapon? What level is it? Like plus twenty. Plus five. Plus I think. nine. I can't see it. It's uh, plus six. Plus six. All right. Well, now you, you won't get any more stones. <laughs> well, I'm not happy anymore. Well, oh, don't you need like slates or something now? He's chunks now. Chunks. Chunk. Chunk. I need chunk to come here and do the truffle shuffle. Truffle shuffle, yeah. Chunk change. <laughs> That's good. This is some kind of small. How are all these areas connected? I know. I don't know how they do it, but it's fucking amazing. It's weird topography. That's what it is. Did you know there's no enemies in this game? You sure there is. <gasps> enemies! Look at that motherfucker. I thought you were a myth. Oh, there's another one. Get over here. He heard you. But he's well, not sure what to do about it. I've still got like, my uh, anti-dog warming gear. He's doing right? his battle dance. Yeah, he's, he's trying to taunt you into it. <laughs> he's like, oh, I hear you. Where are you going? We he got tired of doing your battle dance and you ran away. God, he's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. And you're like, I'm, I'm ready. He's squat SpongeBob. What are you throwing? Oil. Oil? Yeah, he's trying to get you. I should catch it. And if you get covered in oil and it hits you with that torch, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's become meme quest in here. Population memes. So Fuck I, you, I, dude. I, I fucking like memes before they're memes. I'm a hipster. You're a mean hipster. Yeah, that's, that's the... It's like mean deception there, man. It really Brr. is. We're oil man. We meet again. Did you uh, do that Google thing the other day where you could find out your like spirit animal? No, but I want to know my spirit animal. Mine was the honey badger. I was like, I guess I don't give a fuck. I hope my spirit animal is adorable and it's something I could hug. Probably. Wait, so you can't do it anymore or something? It was on a certain day. It's over. Your yeah. spirit animal died. You know how Google Garrett. usually has some weird shit on their little logo? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, That's Garrett. what it was. Your yeah. spirit animal is dead. I think it was for like Arbor Day or something. Because it wasn't pretty enough. Your pony died because it wasn't oh, I love pure pretty ponies. enough. Have y'all seen the video uh, of the girl and uh, she's like sitting on the ground petting a baby horse and it just lays on top yeah, of her? Yeah, it's pretty adorable. It's mad adorbs, yo. Oh, God. That was pretty close, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> He's gonna fucking headbutt you, you to a fucking... I love that the headbutt, son. It's so great. Ooh, that was close. Pretty sure you just took off one of your toes. Where? Miyazaki, please! I've, do, I've been a good boy and I ate my vegetables. Why can't I have a repost when I pay for one <laughs> with a bullet? Your life, your life, run. <laughs> my <laughs> life! <laughs> It's my life, and it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. At least get to the fucking lamp. Where's the lamp? Down. Go. You can come back. Just go to that lamp. Are you saying the rest of the treasure is mine, but the lamp is yours? Uh, sure. I'm that merchant that's really your Keep going down. I think I see it right there. I don't think... No, at that point, he wasn't... He was just Jafar, and he had some thief guy he hired. Oh, okay. The Cave of Wonders was a talking tiger head. It was cool. All right, now you can go back and get killed. Son, <laughs> thanks for the confidence, by the way. Though. <laughs> I need a swig of me Dutch courage there. Oh god. Yeah, a little gas from your ass. A little fuel. From it's a meal. Bud Light mix tail, Long Island. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's powerful, strong, which is redundant, but it is. It's awfully powerful, strong. I wish they would, cause. People are, if you use the word powerful in that sense, you're like, ooh, that's powerful strong. People are like, what? That's ye old fucking going with the wind era age speak. But people still use the word awful as in being like, oh, that's awfully powerful. So I want to switch them. I like powerful more. Oh. oh, I thought that was, I could be hitting him and I weren't. <laughs> Will you that's fucking get off my fucking dick? Fucking dude. Michael Jordan. Is Jordan. in fucking Space Jam. You know how his arm stretched and shit. Yeah. I swear to God, he's doing some kind of weird shit like that. Thank you, Miyazaki. I was thinking more Jordan from Resident Evil Outbreak. Good night. You're talking about Jim. Hey, Jim was Jordan. 
I was the most useless person in that game. I loved every second of it. Good night. Yeah, Resident Evil Outbreak was... Uh, My two was... favorite characters were Yoko and Jim. Jesus I Christ. would just sit there and go, Good night! And it just a, keep falling over and over. It was a over. fucking nightmare. And Yoko, I would just grab all the guns because my inventory was so huge. And they'd be like, Man, why don't you got the guns? A little Asian girl crawled around with assault rifles and rocket launchers in her backpack. And I'm fucking throwing sticks at the boss. And all I would do would be, Quavering Palm! She did have the Quavering Palm, that's the truth. I fucking loved that but game. Son, you were Kevin, son. You, you had that fucking knife. You did your dream super combo. <laughs> That's David. Or David. Kevin's Kevin, the He's police God. officer He's that God. kicks. He's one, one of them fucking shots. You one of them fake Resident Evil outbreak boys. You know how fucking long it's been since I played that damn game? A lot longer than me, probably. Because I played it yesterday. <laughs> I love that game. So I wish the, didn't you much. say they had like some custom servers you can play on or something? I think people have made servers. What the fuck is happening? There's uh, more crows. Is this whole game crows? Okay. As long as we admit it up right, I'm alright. Crows. Crows fucking everywhere. They really uh, are. Antidotes. <laughs> Antidote. She's good people. You ever told an anecdote, Garrett? I'm sure I have. What is the definition of anecdote? I can't remember. It's like a quaint story. Uh, you know what a group of crows is called, Garrett? Murder? Yeah. Because they will murder you. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're friendly to the crows, they, they'll recognize you as a person. They, they, crows they, are actually pretty smart. Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll recognize you. If you just give them bread every day, they're like, yeah, this is good people. What's a group of humans called? Fuckheads. A bunch of <laughs> What? Bunch of retards. Jesus, there's some misanthropy going on here today, folks. I Are lost, we listening to total misanthropy? I lost faith in humanity a long time ago. Is Shit a group, got real. It's a group of humans just called a group. <laughs> Probably. Probably. It's called people. Look at the people over there. A flock of seagulls. Yeah, they made that song. They did make that song. You know, I ran. So far away. Yeah. I think they made more than that too, but I don't remember any other songs. They hate that song too, by the way. Of yeah. course, because it made them famous for yeah. that brief moment. Am I for a week? Should I be looking for something or am I just wandering around? I'm just wandering around. This place is very like, like wandering around the sh- like wander in the Colossus or much. wander over yonder. The boss of this area might be if you're not like fucking going full blast at him, you might surprise him. Because it's three bosses. If you are not slamming it to the nuts, does that guy have, you'll have some does problems. That guy have a dog face? Kinda. Like, the further you get in the game, the more beastly the people look. <gasps> I see. The more like, beastly, the. Wait, what is beastly from? He's a lackey from something, I just can't remember. He's Brian Lee's dog. Okay. Beastly. <laughs> <laughs> That's. Not a joke that'll translate well to YouTube, but yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it as well. I'm pretty sure O'Brien and Michelle watch the video like every day. Oh, yeah, they do. So he'll, he'll, he'll get it. I can't remember what basically it's from. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. There's so many of those stupid fucking side characters that like, Too right. I, right. I are straightforward, actually. But. How could I ever remember them? Do you remember the Great Batley from Eureka's Castle? Yeah. He, he was blind. He couldn't fly very well. Yeah. I remember Magellan. He was dragon. turning. He, um, he was doing the fucking Dark Souls two uh, turnabout there. He was on Lazy Susan's. So. <laughs> He's about to. <coughs> Og and Bog were the best though. They loved peanut butter. My God, I really didn't like the show though. Eureka's Castle. Yeah, it was kind of boring. Eureka's Castle. Just bring the peanut butter jar. They're Which right. one? Try, try Let's bring them all. all. Okay. There were so many good cartoons and shows back then. That like that. Not was, on Nick Junior. All you had was that and the Eris, Lois, and Bram Elephant show. It was a wasteland. I didn't really watch Nick Jr. You had David you had, the motherfucker. Yes, you had David gnome. the gnome. You Jesus had, Christ, David. Little Bear was good, too. Da- Little Bear was way, way, way past that shit, son. Was it? Uh, like, way past that what shit. What about uh, Franklin the turtle? Yeah, that was, like, later as oh, well. Okay. That was an OG, son. Garrett, do you know David the Gnome? No. Nope. Swift the Fox. David the Gnome was this wee little gnome. He looked like the Travelocity wandering gnome. He looks like your typical gnome. Is that the guy that's going like this? Yeah, he's the I'm, I'll slap your shit guy, yeah. David the Gnome. <laughs> and he was he was a little tiny gnome, but he had a fox named Swift that he rode on the back of. He would go around sol- solving woodly problems. And fighting like ghosts and poltergeists and <laughs> trolls and shit. Oh, yeah, the trolls. I forgot about You that. had to trick the trolls into going out in the sunlight because they, they turned, turned to stone. stone. And... Wow. 
in the final episode of the show, he and his wife are waving goodbye, and they die and turn into trees to become one with nature, and the whole time they show Swift the Fox crying. <laughs> That's fucking metal, dude. I, I can't deal with that, dude. It was like from Norway or some shit. It has the most intense opening theme, and if you want to hear it, just watch the first TMVA, Ocarina of Time, because I use I use the David the Gnome theme as the theme to that series. They just they they die and they turn into fucking. Well, they trees. don't die. I guess the point end of their they life cycle is, is they become trees and become like. Did you ever watch the TV show Dinosaurs? No. Oh god, that had a sad last episode too. Yeah, literally, he like destroys the world with one of his plans to save the world. Well, actually, what happens is the company he works for causes the Ice Age that's yeah. going to kill the dinosaurs, and he just gets, like, hold, caught holding the check. Like, he's the scapegoat. But it does end with, basically, a thing saying that every one character is going to die because the Ice Age is happening. Fuck. <laughs> not the mama. Oh, God, not the mama. Get the fuck away from me with your shield. I was always sad with, about Alf, too. I never watched Alf. I liked it. It was a really good show. He ate cats. He never did eat I cats. can't support cat eating, Tommy. I won't allow it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Uh. Of this, sir. <laughs> I take a I take a firm stance against cat eating, dude. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the, the Alf laugh, sorry. It was, and I appreciated it. Ha! I can't do it very well. Ha! Nope, Alpha's, still, good. Alpha's good times. I can't do it. But I'm the sorry. show ended was well, it wasn't supposed to end. Oh god! Of I, course, like all good shows, you know, they're like we're not going to renew the season because we hate things. I yeah. feel bad that I fail here because I've watched yes. a little bit of uh, uh, Epic Name Bro playing this, yeah. and he specifically pointed out that trap I just fell in. But in my defense, I just drank forty ounces of cheap long. beer, and I'm in the middle of drinking a terrible pre-mixed Long Island iced tea. So cut me some fucking slack, people. <laughs> The ALF ended with the, the military getting them, and that, that's how it ended. Oh, well. shit. Oh, I, shows from my childhood that end on cliffhangers and will never be renewed are terrible, but probably the most grievous thing, and it probably made me the hateful, cynical, non-loving adult I am, was fucking Sonic Sat AM. What? They, they had their final episode of season two... And it ends with Sonic and oh, Sally yeah. combining the Power yeah. Stones and destroying Robotropolis. And then right at the end, a, a escaped pod comes out of the ground and Snively was in it. And then you see some red eyes behind him, which I found out later were going to be Knuckles. Really? And I was like, what happens? What happens? And then because of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the show wasn't renewed. So was I'll never crazy. fucking know unless I read fan fiction. And oh, even God. I won't read Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction. So no, sir. Just, that shit just is, saw it in the Hedgehog fan fiction? Uh, oh, there's a lot of that. I mean, I'll read a good fan fiction. Oh, okay. Right? I'll read a 10 fan fan fiction. Oh, God. There haven't been any written, but I, it'll happen one day. If I could write, I would write one, man. One day. A 10 fan fan fiction? I'd write anything if I could write. Son, it ain't hard. You just throw Harry Potter in there, Starfleet Admirals. Oh. Son. Garnish with Doctor Who and throw a little Supernatural on top. Yeah. Make sure you have at least three men making out. Crossplay fan or cross fan fiction there. That's what all fan fictions are. So. <coughs> nah, not all of them. I actually wrote a few fan fics back when I was in high school. On fanfiction.net? I wrote them on some website yeah. and they don't exist anymore and that no one will ever find them. Aww. <laughs> Aww. It's actually surprising that he's even mentioning them. But yeah, the Sonic cartoon was amazing. I have no idea why it got canceled. Sonic Sat AM. It literally was in the same time slot as Power Rangers. They really couldn't move the time. No, well, that's not how networks it work. They're like, oh, you're not beating this show, then we'll just make something else. That's just so retarded. Goddamn Power Rangers fucking canceling Sonic Sat AM. I guess I could read the Archie comics with the nine million animal friends. Yeah, I was never really a big fan of Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! I mean, I mean, the, only reason, the only reason I liked it is because I was the Green Ranger, and then I turned into the White Ranger. Hey. And those were like my two favorite colors. Back I forgot in the day. that you're Tommy. Green and white? Yeah. Hey, the bad combination color. The Power Rangers <coughs> theme song is really good, go, go Power but I, I actually didn't really like it either as a kid, and so I was. I think it was a little too cheesy for me. Too cheesy. Geese Howard appeared and watched an episode, and he was like, "Too cheesy, <laughs> too cheesy." I was seeing my hands with your blood. I have seen the movie. So I love that song. It's like, uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> Fucking jam that hey, way. Most church garb, which is good because I'm very bloody. <laughs> 
don't know if we can deal with this. The nineties was It shows your eye. Pretty much what Oh god, my blood eye. Pretty much what the nineties was, Garrett, was just cancellations of good shows. Garrett, are there any shows you liked that are canceled now? Should I wear this? Legends. Well, nowadays you can get crowdfunding to, I, to finish the shit do off. Do I wear this, yeah. Garrett, or do I wear my other thing? Your other thing, definitely. All right. You are my fashion anata. You are my... Wait, hang on. Put on those sweaty clothes. You're my personal rarity. They're called sweaty... They are called sweaty clothes. Okay, yeah, take off those sweaty clothes. <laughs> All right. That's much better. <coughs> take off those sweaty clothes, baby. You were like, strip. <laughs> Alright, so there's a boss you're going to right now, an optional boss? I no, this is a, not an optional I haven't even been paying attention to the damn game. We've been talking about 90s shit. Oh my Jesus god! Christ, I love 90s. Fuck both of you! Where's the nearest barn? I never understand why people hate the 90s so much. People don't hate the 90s, they hate people that are overly nostalgic of the 90s. Oh, wait, they I'm on the right They hate me side. then, because 90s is the best. So, we're. He just I guess lever. we're 90s kids, even though we were born in the 80s. I guess we were more cognizant in the 90s. Yeah, we were, we were 90s teenagers. Garrett is certified 90s kids, yeah. son. Right, what do you think about Snick and Gak and Ecto Cooler, Garrett? Oh, that shit is weird. Uh, I, I never really watched <laughs> that shit. Was when I was, weird. Garrett's first video game console, PlayStation 3. My. <laughs> I had, I'm not going to identify that with a response. I had the Atari 2600, son. Well, I did. My parents, my. Dad, I got an Atari 2600 from my uncle when he got rid of it, but I actually got it after the NES. Surprisingly. We had a bunch. We had the uh, Atari. We had the Intellivision, I think oh, yeah. it was. The one, whatever one Magnavox made. Uh, the Odyssey? Because that was like the first console. It was super primitive. There was one. I can't remember. But, uh, <laughs> I need a swig of me iced tea. Son, uh, the Atari was where I was at. I put me some Combat and some Pac-Mans. I loved Mega Mania. No, no. Yeah, Mega Mania, Berserk, Pitfall, Frogger. All fucking amazing, son. You ever um, played any Atari games, Garrett? Well, yeah, of course I have, but mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't play them legitimately, I guess. <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't play them on Name the- five. Oh, you just named fucking <laughs> Frog. Name five additional. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, isn't Root Beer Tapper one of them? <laughs> Root Beer Tapper was an old arcade game. I, I don't know if it was on the Atari. And take a guess. And apparently neither do you. I don't know. No. Did the NES is there, and I was like, "This glory days." Why do these people yell at me? But the NES games cost a hundred fucking bucks back in the day. Well, not all of them, but it was Good ex- ones. it was expensive. It was it weren't something that you just stumbled into. One doesn't simply walk into the NES section of the game store. Or a store. The worst part, though, was my dad and my brother played, so I never got to play. Um, luckily, it wasn't like that for me. I feel privileged. I should check, said privilege, but I won't. Oh, God. But I won't. But I won't. Because I had an older brother, and we did play games from time to time, but he wasn't that into them, so I usually had them. Yeah. That's probably why I like watching games now, because I, mean, I grew up watching games. Son, you are the one that inspired me to make a YouTube channel where I play video games. I did. Because I used to go to Tommy's house and he would ask me to play a video game and watch me play it while I yelled stupid shit. And he was like, that's a good one. He was like, if only there was some website where you could put this up on the internet and have nobody watch it but a few handful of people. Well, you have 404 subscribers, you said. Yeah, and my videos get 60 views, so what does that fucking tell you? All these goddamn robots subscribing to me. Certain people like certain videos. Oh, Jesus. Logic bomb! If you were a true believer, you'd watch every 10 minute video, which means you're Mike Hosier, because he's the only one that does. At the live video. Where the fuck am I, by the way? It's the Forbidden Forest, son. You're wherever you please. Shh. Keep your voice down, Gary. Where should I go, Tommy? You over there? I was over there earlier. Yeah, but you can take a right. Over yonder. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Wander Over Yonder earlier. Sure. Y'all ever watch that? What's that? I have no idea. It's some cartoon with this little orange dude, and he's like, I'm a Wander Over Yonder. Yeah, there it is. Over there. And he's got a friend who's like a space horse, and she's like, stop wandering over yonder. And he's yeah. like, I ain't going to do it. Go back and around and like drop down off the roof. Okay. Thank you for giving me real results. Got in my Nordic track. <laughs> Son. 
Bowflex. Oh, what the fuck is going on with the water? Did someone just spill oil on the Maybe. water? Maybe. Holy shit, I don't want to... Oh. Th- throw them all. Oh. The Maybe. Oh. The world is fire. <laughs> How about yours? The world <laughs> is a vampire. He has no legs. Oh. Lieutenant Dan. They got eaten in the war. <laughs> eaten in the war. I don't want to be in, in the water. I really don't want to be in any kind of leg anymore. I'll tell you that. Well, hey all guys, it was like, huh? Oh dear God, there's so many. There's two, and one of them's already dead. You don't know how there could be more. <laughs> I guess you, there's no way to disprove that. Look, right up ahead, son, there's more. Yeah, well, I have more sword swings Not in me. Lord sword swings. <laughs> I'm just napping there. He wasn't real. How can the enemies be real, Carrot, if our sword strikes aren't real? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Shh. Everybody calm the fuck down. Dude, we'll fuck the world up. I'm gonna handle this response. Like like he's not wrong. He'll only fuck my atmosphere up. <laughs> Turn around. Ah, here, the atmosphere. Ooh, Bullets are being shot, fired bullets. at me, and I don't appreciate it. Bullet ball. No. Bullet no, ball. Bullet no ball. more bullet ball. <laughs> bullet ball is dead, and that man is too. Is he? No, he's probably... I opened the door. He's probably successful. I win. I wonder if... Did you ever see... I wonder yeah. if his ex-wife is like still like... What do you call her, his ex-wife? <laughs> well, because he or was. Maybe she had some fucking sense uh, and left his fucking ass. But, uh... Did you ever see that Kickstarter where the guy was asking for money to make potato salad? Yes. That was fucking glorious. That was a grievous fucking abuse. It was. <laughs> That's what did, that people, was. did people donate? Oh, yeah. He made like $10,000 or something. Why? Because like it was some stupid fucking gimmick that people could post on Reddit and lol and put fucking rage face comics up to because people are so goddamn stupid. <laughs> They'll shit money all over shit that doesn't deserve it. Not that I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> We should start a Kickstarter. It's called Buy Garrett Pants. So our friend pants. Garrett has no... He doesn't. You can't prove in this video right now that Garrett has pants. Hey, Garrett, what are you company. wearing on your lower half right now? Well, I've got underwear, but you know what? I don't have any pants. <laughs> you lying some bitch. Thank you, Garrett. Please. For $10 a day, you can pay I am the Garrett. one who doesn't have pants. I got long well, iced choice. tea in my eye and it hurts. If, if I just had some pants, you know... A decent pair of pants? You can get me... Right now, you can donate $100 to 10 Fade Kickstarter and get me uh, an eighth of a pair of pants. We need seven more donations. I need $800. Do it. If I had $800 right now, my entire life would change. I don't think for, for starters, I could buy a PlayStation 4 and play Bloodborne when I want to play it <laughs> instead of begging Tommy to come over and having him ignore me for two weeks. Well, That's what I do best. Yeah. People spent the first episode of this fucking blowing you. Now they know the truth. No. <laughs> where the... I never know where I am. Oh, you the, find I'm the in loot all the time, time, though. It's always a good feeling. I never use any of it because you don't use items in a Souls game. You walk to a boss and... Are you it. one of those RPG players that just save every item? I, I stopped. Might need it. <laughs> I stopped doing that. I used to be like that, I and then I you. and then I realized I fucking hated that. <laughs> so now, like when I play a Resident Evil game, I'll shoot the Magnum at regular enemies. Oh yeah. I won't get at the end of the game. The the thing that's made me stop being like that was Patrick of two best friends, who I keep bringing up because apparently I'm soon dairy towards him. Hmm. He's such a fucking Whee! autistic spur. Thanks for the pro tip, though. Hey, just <laughs> fucking crows. Crows are the most dangerous enemy. That game, that game, that book, that book, that short story, <laughs> the deadliest game, was about fat crows. About fat crows. He's like, yes, I've brought you to my elaborate island because it's my dream to hunt fat crows. Do you know the story of the most dangerous game, Garrett? The deadliest game? Uh, no, actually. This guy, like, falls off a ship at the o- in the ocean. This is, like, back in the day. Mm-hmm. And washes up on an island, and it turns out the island is owned by some rich asshole. And it turns out the rich asshole likes to hunt humans for sport because no other animal gives him that thrill. And so it's the story of this guy. He like gives the guy a bunch of provisions and a knife and an hour head start, 
I accidentally yeah, avoided. You I accidentally did. avoided that while giving Garrett a summary. That was pretty fucking good. Dude. It lets him out into the jungle, and then the guy has to survive while he tracks him with his dogs and manservants and shit. Do I need to go back where I was getting fucked to death, yeah. Tommy? Here, this way. Go back into the village. I'm in the village, Tommy. What do I do? Now turn to your, go forward. You can run. Got a song. But you can't hide. Woo. That's where I fell in the grave. Scary turn to your left. Did you say it's a skimitary? I said scary Terry. Uh You run, but you can't hide, bitch. I go back. You you just passed it. Yeah, that's fire. Pass that fire. All right, right there. Keep going straight. I mean, straight as in north on the on the yeah, right there. I think you're doing it. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Why is the camera angle like that? Why are you doing this to me, Ben? Yep. I'm so mad right now. Yeah. <laughs> I win. Okay, this bird cage is the boss. I beat Bloodborne! <laughs> Woo! What am I doing in here? You need to go back where you came from. Give that damn controller. Fine, Tommy. You play the game. Why don't you Woo! host the YouTube channel and buy hundreds of dollars in recording equipment and spend hours of your day editing videos? I don't like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, because you would be so much more popular than me and I'd hate it. I doubt it. I would give up halfway doing it. Oh, fuck fire. Fuck fire! Yeah, it's the move Shippo does in Aiden Yasha. Oh, you don't God. want to hear Leeds fire, really. Fire has yeah, a point at all. Oh, well, that thing was dead! Are you telling me an enemy in Bloodborne can pretend to be dead? That's, well, that's some pretty... I won't believe it. <coughs> I can't accept this information right now. Now you play again. Alright, as this is Tenfei here. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play Bloodborne. Tenfei here. Like, What's subscribe, Facebook. Remember to oh, like, God. subscribe, oh, God. Subscribe, Facebook, uh, tweet, uh, Instagram. And send me $80. Tell me, tell me that's what we need to do, man. We need to make a new social media. Because there's not enough of them. There really isn't. Well, we need the new one that kills Facebook. Just like we need an MMO that kills have, World of Warcraft. You're not going to kill Facebook. Can what we kill it? World of Warcraft? I, lo I like Google+, Plus, but no one used it. I never really used it either. What is the benefits of Google+. Plus? It was, it was, well, it was simple as fucking could be. Was but then they had to make it like Facebook and add stupid shit to it. Stupid shit. But people use social media for stupid shit. I know. That's why I hate it. <laughs> I'm on the roof. I'm the fiddler. The fiddler on the roof? <coughs> Garrett gets it. Do I go in this house and live what inside What about a cat on a hot tin roof? There's no doors! Well, it's because you don't go in that building. What about a cow pissing on a metal roof? What about a pissing like a Russian racehorse? Dude! I found something. There's an MMA league in Russia. Instead of like, you know, MMA fights, they fucking get armor and sword fight and shit. In Russia? This yeah. sounds a lot better than MMA. Yeah, I'm about to say, this sounds Come like fight you... me, stupid! I told you there was a cannon. Yeah, that cannon just fucked your you, world directly you up. You didn't... You said, watch out for the cannon, but there was no <laughs> other details given. That cannon was just kind of like... There is a lot in between me and those 67,000 blood souls. I can get you to quit. Without dying? Yeah. Let's watch Tommy. See if he can beat the game and be good. Do it, Tom. Oh, God, these load screens. I mean, you're right. I don't know if they're shorter or they feel shorter because there's something to read. They're about five to ten seconds shorter. Every video game should have a little mini game in their load screen. It's just common courtesy. This uh, game's loading screen mini game should be Dark Souls 1. Because you can beat that shoot. shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to run over there. He had an item he dropped. Running past fucking swinging logs. I dodged that on the other side once. It was like, hi, I got you good, fucker. And then it fell off. I was like, oh shit! You got far, but. <laughs> I did. So, Garrett, do you think Tommy's gonna get me my blood echoes back? Yeah. Easy peasy. I don't He's know. He's fucking sprinting right there for him, son. He it's knows. A, it's a rough dream to have. He just took fall damage. That's a bad sign. Uh, At least it's not spring <laughs> damage. Hey. You hate to see that happen. What's your favorite season, Garrett? Fall. What's your favorite season of Doctor Who? Uh, I don't watch that show. Uh, that was a trick question. They're called series in Britain. 
I don't watch this series at all. <laughs> shit. Damn. I, 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 I watched the Ninth Doctor series. Like a lot of people don't like him, but I thought he was pretty good. Ninth Doctor ain't bad, son. He's rough and tumbler, and he's got a, a leather jacket on, so he don't take sense nonsense to nobody. He's like, oi, Rose, up them apples. She's like, I won't go up them apples. He's like, Rose! Yeah, the only the only episode of that Rose! show I've ever watched is the one that you showed me with the Weeping Angels. That's the only... Blink, the episode with the Weeping Angels, is the only one you really need to watch if, if you don't care about Doctor Who, because it's a really good standalone episode. It was really fucking good. Suck me! I mean, Weeping Angels, creepy as shit. Oh, yeah. It's probably the, one of the creepiest fucking things I've ever seen. Especially when they're in the basement and the lights fucking flickering downstairs. Yeah. Shit. Well, Shit. No blood echoes for me. Like it's simple as fuck. I just want to get back to that point. Oh, Garrett. Do you think Tommy intentionally hates me? Or no, do you want me to get you those six thousand back really quick? Or do you think he does it accidentally? That was completely accidental. I don't know. You can go kill those two pigs and get six thousand souls. That's really? you'd have to do that. Yeah, you'd have to do that uh, over eleven times. No, you do it once. You said six thousand. Yeah, I had sixty-seven thousand when I, I died. I thought you only had six thousand. No, I'd been killing people for years. We discussed the entire nineteen nineties. I think in in memoriam while I fought. I think Ben just admitted to being a serial murderer. I what? I killed <laughs> people for years. Nonstop, son. Nah. I, don't, I couldn't get away with killing people. I'm fat and out of shape. No, I, I couldn't do it either. It'd be like, was there anything you noticed strange about where you found the dead body? He's like, yeah, I heard a guy in the woods. He sounded the worst. Oh, <laughs> you need to get an ambulance over here. There was a fucking... Amberlance. And a hearse. There was a little Debbie rapper out there. I think he was eating some fudge rounds. Yeah. Tommy... Tommy thinks fudge rounds are my favorite because once I was at his house and there was a box of fudge rounds. And Whenever he would come over, he would always ask for fucking fudge rounds. Well, because it was the only food in your house. Well, we would we, 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 we get snacks and we get fudge rounds. Okay. I was like, can I have food while you master the Nights of the Round material and I watch? Mm, that was the one time I watched you play a video game. It was because we beat fucking Emerald the Weapon that night. The world rumbled. It did. It was fucking scary. The first time me and Tommy beat Emerald Weapon, we were hanging out, and I don't remember which one of us was playing. But the moment we killed him, there was a rumbling in the sky of a thunderstorm. It was Emerald Weapon, and he was angry. He was using Grand Tram and Materia, or whatever that's called. Uh, Air Tram Storm, or whatever. Hey, the souls are in a dog. That's the ones just got that. Well, you're you're under like ninety six thousand or ninety six hundred. All right, it's revenge time. Revenge of the Fallen, Sith Lord. Son. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh look at me right there. Let's be topical. Garrett, what do you think about that there Star Wars Episode 7? Can't teacher? fucking wait. It does look like it'll be good. I really haven't. I, I trust J.J. Oh, God. I, uh, Brett Elson, a guy I follow uh, on Twitter, and he does podcasts and shit, he has a theory that the reason the internet is currently so jaded and cynical was because of the prequels and how they really? like, ruined everyone. And he like sincerely hopes that episode 7 will be so sincere and good that it will restore <laughs> like people on the internet's faith and make them less assholes. That'd be nice. It would really would be. I don't think that's going to work, though. Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen because it's fucking privilege. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pete, there's an item. Children, the generation below ours were raised to think they were special. You mean Garrett? Nah, probably the below Garrett. Like, teenagers today. Like, oh, shit. People, like, baby their kids and pretend they're special when they're not. No, we're all just dumb assholes living in a fucking... But, movie. Tommy, we're all snowflakes and We're Harry. not. No, you can be not. anything you want, Tommy. Like, I love Mr. If you Rogers. just try. I love Mr. Rogers, you, but... You, there's items you're, you're giving up. His philosophy when we were all special snowflakes was the worst philosophy ever. He ruined us and then took his shoes off and that gorilla took his shoes off. Coco? Yep. She had a kid. All right, you're, you're back. Oh, God. I'm oh, God, get it! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tommy literally grabbed the controller while it was laying on my dick and moved my character and scared the shit out of me. I almost screamed for an adult. Well, what do I do here? You go back and forth between the buildings and stuff. You mean I zip-zop and zoobity You do? Zip-zop, zoobity-pop, oh, poker, 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 man. You zoot-suit riot. 
Ow! The guy can shoot you. Everyone's <laughs> got guns. This is, is this game take place in America? We got guns and shit. I mean guns. Yeah, yeah, it's it's right, yeah, yeah. We need more guns. Yeah. We're not American enough. Let's go buy guns. Well, you have like fucking four shotguns. Well, they're not mine. They're just in the house I live in. I have access to them. Yeah, you do have access to them. And guns are expensive. They are in real life. Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't own any. I own some, but they're not like I purchased them with money. <laughs> I guess I can can no longer find. Tommy's got blood guns. <laughs> well, just guns that have passed down over time. Tommy's got flintlock muskets. There's a dude here who will fuck you up if you watch out. Wait! What the fuck? Wait. Yeah, that was kind of a... Uh, that was some Miyazaki shit right there. You know it's bad when I'm not the one yelling at me. <laughs> you were that. clearly out of the way on that I one. just I said... Uh, that was... Miyazaki doesn't understand hitboxes. He thinks hitboxes are the <laughs> universe. He's like, entire world is a hitbox door. <laughs> When he a strike, it, it hurt the, the whole world. One day, when I was on a home from a work. If you can just run past that cannon guy, there's a shortcut you can open. I see a man walking down the street holding a hot dog. Next thing I know, fat the pigeon hit him inside the head. He drop a hot dog cry. That's when I know the entire world is a man hit box. You know his story about how he created the co-op that's in the Souls games because of the cars pushing each other to the hill? Well, that's the story on how he made up hitboxes. I don't even remember what I said. Pigeon in a new bed and he dropped his hot dog. <laughs> if there, if you all that watch this and are artistic have any love for me, you will draw a comic of... The man, Miyazaki, seeing a man walking down the street <laughs> eating a hot dog and a fat pigeon flies into the side of his head and he drops it. And then Miyazaki is inspired to make hitboxes. You have items and I want them and you'll give them to me. Thank you. Know, the, you. Last panel Please. Just, yeah. the last panel should just say Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> just, not even Bloodborne or Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Thanks, Obama. That poor man. <laughs> 